Hello, darkness, my old friend. Welcome back, everybody, to the AMU Dynasty here on the channel. The only series going on the channel, I might add. The Team Builder Dynasty, where we lose the most important game of the season by three scores. So, we lost to UMass in the, uh, the last game of the season. Uh, we were both 5-6. and six. Winner gets to go bowling, and we lost. So, we're 5-7. and seven. Uh, this video is just going to go ahead and wrap up the season and as well as get to, I believe, the probably just the off season. I don't think I'll do preseason, but we'll see how far this goes and how long this takes. But Carlisle, great game. We just couldn't get it done on the ground. We got absolutely smacked around. And uh, let's see. Oh, we do have recruiting hours. Did we get somebody? No, we just have a whole bunch of hours. I think from scouting everyone. I'm not going to use them. I'm kind of uh, satisfied with what we have on the board. Everything else is kind of mid. So we're just going to wait until the transfer portal opens up. Uh, I'm going to see if I can do anything with these coaches' skills, and then we'll just sim to the next week. I went ahead and put uh, 10 points into the, the quarterback under the play style um, little attribute thing, but go ahead. Oh, oh, the recruiting updates here. I, maybe it was just bugged for the season. It's going to be fine now. Fingers crossed, because I really liked having this board to go through everything in between weeks with you guys and not have to, you know, go down and click on it. But the so five and seven sadly did not make a bowl game. Obviously, we we're independent, so no conference championship game as well. Um, we got three years remaining here. He is an F. Holy cow. Should I fire and try to get somebody? I could. Um, or do I just ride with him because he's got three years left? I mean, he's level 36. He's not bad. He runs my offense or my defense I like. Um, I don't. I wonder why he's an F. I mean, I guess we gave up a lot of points, but I mean, he's not bad. We'll keep him and just hope he doesn't get fired or anything. I'll go ahead and sim to the next week. Oh, there's our Heisman, we got Gunner Stockton from Georgia. And let's see if maybe if we want any rewards. Bellamy got best defensive player back. All right, okay, nice. We got an award. Hell yeah. We have job offers. Let me see what this is. I'm not going to take anything, obviously. A couple DCs. All DCs. I wouldn't say our defense is that good. I mean, we had a couple good players that held it down, but pretty nice. We got uh, early National Signing Day. Let's see where we're at on the top classes. I'm hoping for top 30 this year with how many uh, three stars we have. Uh, I shouldn't have said anything. 33, not bad. Uh, still have transfers, obviously. 18 three stars, one two star. Pretty good. Weeks was fifth and best defensive player of the year. And obviously we got Bellamy, who our junior, was able to get that. And I don't think we're going to be here on any other rewards. Remix. But close nonetheless. Um, I mean, we had a good season. I, I was aiming for four wins. Obviously, I was really hoping for a bowl game. That was like my high. Um, but it just didn't come to fruition. So, I mean, that's fine. Nothing we can do there. No rewards besides cornerback, and obviously we have the linebacker. But let's go ahead and see this college football bracket. I want to see where everyone lands. The so two lanes, twelve. Then we got Wisconsin five. Ooh, Virginia Tech nine. Bama eight. Florida State. That's not realistic. At eleven, Texas Tech, Hamu, Oklahoma, K State, Clemson, Georgia one. Thirteen and zero. Wow. And then Oregon is four with a bye at the six seed. Basically everything checked there. Let's go ahead and sim week by week here and see what pops up. Maybe anything changes. If not, I could probably just sim all the way through the bowl, uh, the bowl season, the playoff season. There's going to be much. Um, I know I can make staff moves and stuff, but I don't think these guys are going to leave. And I mean, they're not bad. I don't know why they're an F and a D plus. I mean, obviously our defense wasn't that great, but they weren't an F worthy. We won games and our offense D plus. I mean, seems reasonable. I would say C, but that's. I mean, D-plus is, I guess, close to it. So we're just going to go ahead and sim the playoffs here and go to the national championship game, see who takes it all, and move on to the offseason. So in our bracket here, we had Wisconsin win over Tulane and then lose to Oregon. We had Bama over VTech and lose to Georgia. That didn't happen last night. And then we had Tech over Florida State and then Clemson over Tech. Tamu beat Oklahoma and then lost to K-State by a lot. And now in the final, we have Clemson, Oregon. 13 and 2 versus 13 and 2 playing in Miami. Let's see who the winner of the beautiful CFP championship game is and it is going to be Oregon comes out on top. Oregon Natty Champs 38-34 
beating Clemson. So beautiful end of the season. Uh, I'm going to go over stats and everything here and just see how the team did as a whole. Our season stats, 3,000 yards, 19 touchdowns, 18 interceptions. Yikes. 63% and 250 yards per game. Pretty good. 22 sacks obviously always kills us. Rushing, no 1,000-yard rushers, but Strickland, almost 700, three TDs. Hardy had five, had 350. Two fumbles, one of those being a crucial fumble in the late game. Receiving two 800-yard receivers. Got Carlisle, eight touchdowns. Peaks had five. Strickland had 560 in one touchdown. Just in receiving alone, McLawler put in some work as well. One touchdown, Millum. Four touchdowns being like the fourth string wide receiver, I believe. Foreman really fell off production, but I mean, once you're the best receiver on the team, you get the best cornerback on the team, so not much you can do, but 206 yards, two touchdowns in the West. Long of 69 for Carlisle. Nice little touchdown to put us into overtime. And 54 for Peaks. On the defensive side of the ball, solo tackles. We got Coles being our leader, then Bellamy, Weeks, Ziggler's down there. Total tackles, Ziggler leads them all. Interceptions, Coles, Cage, Ziggler, Bellamy with two. Daniels with two. Best player, best cornerback in the nation, by the way. Our junior, 37. He's got 104, 10 for a loss, three sacks, two interceptions, as well as, oh, two forced fumbles, one fumble recovery. And if I'm not mistaken, yep, almost leads our defense. Tied with Daniels, who gave us a beautiful pick six against UAB. Kicking performance, a little lackluster, 29, we got four for four, six for seven, and three for four. Some of those kicks were crucial, but what are you, you going to do? We were third in the nation on first downs, like I was talking about in our offense being, you know, methodical and moving the ball downfield. Um, they did do that. They were third in the nation. I wonder if we let in picks. Oh, not even close. 22? That's insane. Holy cow. 16 fumbles? 46 sacks? Who are they playing? That's insane. Um... We did give up the, what is that, <laughs> almost the most amount of points. We're at 347. And then, let's see, for rushing yards, we were pretty close. Passing, we're not there. And then total yards, nothing. And then red zone, I think our red zone offense was trash. Yeah, 39%. Definitely need to pick that up. We had 58 red zone trips, and only 30 of those resulted in points. Not very good. Not very good at all. Don't even get me started on the turnovers. We threw so many picks. We had, <laughs> look at this, six, minus six differential. We had 25 giveaways, 21 of those being interceptions, three fumbles. I believe one was a safety. And then uh, 19 takeaways, obviously, 14 interceptions, which is not I mean, kind of close to the top. We're like midway through the nation. But overall, I mean, we're a mid-tier school, so we're still trying to find our groove and our rhythm and move along here and truck down the tracks. So, I mean, five and seven, second season. Again, I was aiming for at least four, and I was aiming for a bowl game. We hit dead center in the middle, so we only can go up from here. We're going to go ahead and sim to the end of the season here and see what's going to be cracking. We got players leaving. I uh, showed the seniors earlier. I know there's a decent amount of them. Hopefully no one's transferring. Fingers crossed. So we'll go by overall here and just see. Uh, Perkins is projected to go to the draft. That could be big for our um, prestige. We're two-star right now. We went up from one and a half. We're two-star. So Zig was graduating. Punter. Got Van Caliborn, who was our uh, linebacker our first year with, um, oh my gosh, who did he play with? Oh my gosh. Uh, Freebird Freeman. Strickland. Hats off. You, my man. Salute. Foreman's gone, Coles is gone, Daniels is gone, Pace, Anderson, Harper, Cage, Weeks, Gregory, Colin, Solomon, The Pool, all these, McLawler, all these big names that we were relying on last season are now gone. So hopefully the freshmen can step up and fill those shoes, but no one's transferring, so that's a good sign. Yep, so we're up to a two-star. That confirms that we sim the week, and we're still at a two-star. So two out of five, moving up slowly. We're up from last season, so that's improvement. But we got the transfer portal. This is where I want to hit big. And try to fill in more of these gaps try to maybe get some really good players let's see who's interested and go down the line here so obviously sim to first only oh only two stars and then we have we're first for a three star so i'm gonna go ahead and go through all this and see what i can snag okay went ahead and added a whole bunch of three star transfers to try to unlock their interest i put 75 points of pop on them most of them maxed out some of them have 80 but that's besides the point 
We got 25 down here, 50 down here, and then we have that uh, quarterback as well, way down here. Just in case, they're safe than sorry. Try to get both of them. I don't know what the quarterback room is going to be like next year, but we're going to go ahead and send this week. Hopefully, we can unlock their interest. I can start hard selling them right away, and we can get them. I'm not first on a lot of these people. I think I'm first on, like, one of them. Yeah, and that's, that's literally the only guys in the linebacker. So, fingers crossed we can get these guys and go ahead and sim this week. And we get on to week two of the offseason recruiting. So we got the right tackle, not the transfer, but we did get Nick Knox as well as Joey Myers, the halfback. So I do like that for some reason finishing the season fixed this, but we are now first on everyone's board, it seemed. So that's pretty good. Yeah, we're first on everyone, even all the transfers. So let's see if we can lock these down, get a nice recruiting class of 30 kids. All right, a lot of the players are on a visit for this week two week. I went ahead and spread the points around again, and there we go. Aldridge commits to the team, as well as Hines, the middle linebacker, and Wingate, right outside linebacker, Flowers, the middle linebacker. Oh, my gosh, it keeps going. Spandling, the wide receiver, Rogers, the center. Literally almost all the transfers came, and we're down to two cornerbacks. Try to see if we can get them off the board and wrap them up. Our overall went down a lot, 76, 76, 77, not the 79, 80, 79 we were last offseason. So hopefully these last couple guys can commit, bring that rating up. Okay, I went ahead and added a couple more defensive pieces that I think could help our team. As long as these cornerbacks commit, they do. So we got, I, I'm adding a left end, a D tackle. So hopefully we can jump to their ratings, be first in their interest, and lock them down to improve our front five. Jumped up to second on the safety. I don't know if we're going to be able to steal him from Rutgers and first as well. So hopefully we can snag these two and complete this recruiting class. All right, I put both the D linemen on a visit for this week, so let's go ahead and sim this week. Moment of truth, see if we can get them one down, two down. Do we get the safety for the three? No, he's going to go to Rutgers. That's okay. Our class was very good. 4,000 XP, almost level 33, not nearly as much XP as we got last offseason. Let's go ahead and check out this recruiting class. I think we did a fairly good job. Top schools, I wouldn't say we're top 30 or anything, but I think we did pretty good overall. Maybe top 50? Yep, top 40. We're in 47. 30. 33 stars. I know we, we're we going to have to cut a lot of people. So hopefully next season we don't have to cut too many uh, because of how many we get recruits. We got 31 is a crazy number of recruits. I think that might be the highest total. No, we had some 35s. Five star for Syracuse. That's scary. Four, eight stars. We play them every year basically. Uh-oh. They're going to have a good team. Let's go ahead and sim this week. Oh, never mind. I have to do position change. This is a very important thing. So I'm going to do this, and you guys catch me in a second. All right, positions have been moved around 56K XP. I mean, that was only like three levels, but that is a lot of XP. Holy cow. What's our overall now then? Oh, it's not going to show us. Maybe right here in training results with all the boost. 81, 81, 82. We have gone up overall. Let's go ahead and see. Frost takes the starting job from Jarvis. Wow, 74 overall, 79 speed, 92 throw power. Got decent accuracy. Okay, throwing, less throw on the run than everyone. Great throw under pressure, though. Hardy is up to a 79. Bergman, sophomore, up to a 77 with 92 speed. And he's got platinum team player. Sidekick bronze, I believe that's bronze. It looks like bronze. I can't tell for Hardy. Uh, fullback's not going to get anything. Carlisle's up to an 83. Peaks is a 78. We got Bell, who I've never called his name before, is up to a 77 with the boost, of course, on the right-hand side. You can see he's a 76, so it all, it all depends how you look at it. Millum is also a 76. Scooter Page, I feel bad for him. He had a great first season, didn't play at all the second season, and now he's basically bottom of the depth chart. Stacy jumps up to a 75. Oh, yes, Lyman looking good, 79, 81, 77, 77, and 85. That's what I like to see. Improvements all around ends all high 80s. Bloom and Campbell both 80s. Bloom Jr. 80 overall. Okay, linebackers looking nice. Let's see here on the middle. Glass is now an 84. Greenwood Jr. is a 77. That's with the boost, of course. He's a 72 on the right hand side. But besides the point, Weeks almost a 90 with the boost. Gates is an 82. Here we go. Bellamy 87, 89 with the boost. Cornerbacks are looking very nice. Got almost four 80s. 
and with the boost it's only one but that's besides the point again db's quincy blue 75 nice kickers 72 and punter didn't get an overall change because we just got him on the depth chart pretty good training results so far go ahead and sim to the next week so we got the off season um we're gonna do this and then next video will be the preseason and all the stuff so let's see how many people we have to encourage to transfer nine that is a lot easiest way is i'm gonna go through position by position and see what i need to get rid of if i have mass amounts of something so i'll do that and we'll be right back man this is sad i already had to get rid of teague and now i have to get rid of scooter everyone from the first rosters has fallen i don't know who this last person's gonna be that i'm gonna cut it's got to be on the defense side of the ball it's like i have plenty of ends and stuff but like it's it's hard letting go of these players like i didn't think the recruiting class was gonna be this bad why is this guy a 63 he was a three star i was able to make the cuts needed um we're not gonna custom conference anything i don't think we deserve to join the mountain west or the pack two or anything only because we haven't gone to a bowl game i think once we go to a bowl game then we can lock it down but let's go ahead and check the team overall real quick the depth chart see what we're working with we got 83 82 and 84 improvement from last year that's a thumbs up for me sadly we don't have to pull anymore we have bryce frost our starting running back is going to be hardy and then we have bergman in the backfield wide receivers is going to be carlisle peaks bell and Millam are our top four stacy starting tight end and then glass will be our mike linebacker alongside weeks as well as gates being left and right side and obviously our defensive captain Jaden bellamy look at that four physical attributes senior 87 89 with the boost great stats hopefully you can keep it going and that's basically going to round out this episode i hope you guys enjoyed the off season of the 2025 season as we are going to kick off the 2026 season next week we're going to set up the custom schedule do the recruiting probably do week zero and then the video after that depending on how long that all takes we'll go ahead and play our week one game let's see what it has set up for us right now got three ranked teams back to back to back umass needs to be the last game that is like it needs to be one of the last two games that's like the thing that's like our army navy it's like it's always it literally is right there army navy week like 13 or 12 needs to be our umass week but I do see Syracuse they still have on here, Oregon State. Maybe I'll add some Mountain West teams to try to see if, uh, if we beat them, try to get an invite, see how that all goes. But I'm going to go ahead and kick off this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you guys when we start the 2026 preseason.